Hi, I'm Bill Bartlett. We're here at the Boeing Employees Tennis Club. And I'm here to teach you how to serve what I call the sling effect on the serve, which will mean that you'll be able to create a lot of power on your serve. So what I'd like to think about, starting with your uh, continental grip, starting with a slow start, getting your racket all the way up into what we call the trophy position. When you're in the trophy position, the tip of your racket should be pointing a little bit inward like this. From the trophy position, you're going to let your racket fall back with your shoulders and your back coiling, and right about here it falls in this position, almost like you're a shot putter. Think of yourself as a shot putter getting ready to throw a shot put over the net. From the shot put position here, you're going to let the racket go to your back stretch and really arch your back and shoulders, and then from here, you're going you're gonna to really coil your shoulders forward with your racket lagging behind you and you snap your upper torso to the ball, racket lagging behind you and then you sling the racket into the serve to get tremendous power. So I call this the sling effect. So once again I'm going to go to my trophy position, I'm going to let the racket fall to the shot put position, I'm going to march my back and shoulders get to the back scratch with a good a back bend, and I'm going to sling my, my body into the ball and snap my racket. So this is how it looks. I go from here, I start slow, and I sling. I'll do that again. From here, trophy, sling. So if you can get the, your body to feel like it's bending, your racket going to the shot put position, then to the back stretch, arch your upper body like a slingshot, and then fire your upper torso up to the ball with your racket lagging behind you, and then snap that racket like a slingshot into the ball, and you'll be surprised how much more power you can get.